All right, here's another quick little video. I wasn't gonna do a video on this because it's pretty simple, I thought, um, but uh, I kind of thought there might be a little problem. So what I've done is I've installed a little light bar strip across the back for, for the brake light, signal lights, and um, <clears throat> I wired it directly behind the uh, the plug on the on the bumper, uh, wired it straight into the into there. So uh, it's showing up as it's uh, trailer connected to the truck. So there's those little modules there that sense a trailer's plugged in. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't do that, but it, it has. And so we're gonna have to we'll do a little work around and rewire it. So we'll go through and show you how to do that. I'm using a trailer plug end so we can uh, wire it and unplug it as we need. So uh, I'll show you a little bit here uh, on my dash what happens when I'm driving with the truck. It gives me all kinds of error screen uh, messages pop up because it thinks there's the trailer and they're given all kinds of problems. So we'll quickly show you that. Okay, so obviously the other problem that's gonna pop up on the towing screen each time you uh, start the truck, it's kind of pain in the butt because I like it over here with my digital speedometer. Um, so when you're driving along, you turn the signal lights on There we go. Trailer light fault. Hit OK. Lighting module fault. See owner's manual. So that pops up every time we hit the signal lights. So we're going to uh, disconnect that, unplug it, and um, wire it to the tail lamps. I'll show you how to do that. Alright, the gray orange wire here is the left signal light. I'm just using a light probe like this and got the left signal going and found it there. So what I'm doing, instead of going, oh, taking out each tail light, um, come from the back of the truck here. Here's the tailgate I'm underneath. Just up here by the, the spare tire on the uh, driver's side of the spare tire <clears throat> up here on the frame rail there's a larger plug back here and that one is where I'm finding the uh, signal light so orange gray so far is the left signal light and I'll keep probing here and find some more it's got it on the uh, right signal light and let me zoom in here. Uh, looks like it's the green and orange. Green and orange. Okay, let's focus in there. So we've got the green and orange here is flashing for the right. And the gray orange is left. All right, so I'm, I did take the uh, tail light off. I didn't have a ground wire that I could find, proper ground wire, and uh, the running light wire. So, tail light comes off, two little bolts on the side here, boom, boom, and it's kind of stuff stuck in there because there's some rubber grommets here and the metal pins in the in the uh, in the tail light itself. So what I did is I I just kind of popped on it on the tail light itself and tried to and popped it loose a little bit there. Um, don't take a crowbar or anything and try and break it out there. You'll bust the tail light. So right here I've got the brown wire here, which is my running lights to my plug uh, to the blue wire. And the yellow wire is to the white, and, or the orange and gray. It kind of looks white, but it's, it's gray. So I've soldered those in, and the ground wire here, black, yellow. Um, that one's going to go back to my plug. The white one is the ground. So only one I've got left is um, the right signal light. That's going to be my green wire. I'm going to strip this back, pull it back down through, and attach it to the one plug that's underneath here. Um, I'll show you that in a second, that I was just working on. Um, instead of running it all the way over to the other tail light, I can uh, hook it on that one plug. 
All right, pop the uh, tail light back on. We're gonna go back under here. I've got the ground wire to solder up and the uh, right signal light, which is the uh, green, yeah, the green orange one in this plug under here. So I'm just gonna come around, come up here. Got this plug taken off here, just on the frame rail uh, on the left-hand side of the truck. It's a larger one, there's a smaller one right beside it, and th this one's plugged up in here. So I've just disconnected this, and just gonna have to splice this green orange line right here instead of running it all the way over to the other tail light and up there. All right, got everything soldered up and clipped back in, buttoned it up with a little couple zip ties. I'll zip tie there to hold those wires and let's go test it out. All right, so last time we put it in a drive and signal, put the signal light on, you get all kinds of errors. So I'll pop it back into drive and let's try the signal lights. So we're not getting any error codes, errors coming up on the screen there. Uh, it's not connected to that uh, trailer computer box, whatever. It's, uh, the box that uh, signals that it's connected to a trailer. So we're going to go out back and check out the signal lights and make sure they're all working properly. Alright, there's the left signal working. And the right signal. Let's check out the running lights and see if they work now. All right, and running lights, all working. So, got a little guy there. My little wheel's got a strip in the middle and then two side ones. So, pretty happy with that. Don't have any more error warnings on the screen every time I take a corner. All right, there's, there's another little quick uh, video for you on putting a light bar, tail light bar on the F-150. So hope you learned something from that. If you did, please like and subscribe. Helps my little channel out a whole bunch. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.